Okay, hello everyone. So today we wanna create a project where we add an image gallery. Image gallery, it means you have a page with usually some of the thumbnail images and use this thumb or you switch between them to play your images, okay? An image with a higher, the original resolution. Um, and this is the only thing that we we'll include in this project. So let's create a new project. Okay, so let's call it an image gallery. Image gallery. Let's remove the space. No need for a space. And of course, we don't want to use a template. Create a new project. Okay, and let's drop the gallery image. So scroll down till you get the into the media section. There you can find the image gallery. Okay, so you're not be able to display the gallery because of the thumbnail, so okay. So let's add the, all the images that you wish to add them to this gallery. We can add more later or we can edit. I'm gonna select some or all the images I used for many projects. Okay, okay, let's open them. So you have the list of the images in case you want to edit any of the images or properties. So let's do that. For example, you can change the text, the description, title. You can link it to a page. You can change the date of that image. And you can do that for all the other images whenever you wish to. Okay, let's move it. So this is my image gallery. As you remember, we said that we'll not be able to see the images in here. Okay, so let's preview it. Let me save the page and play. Okay, so this is my image gallery. Here I have my th the thumb and the previous button, an X button, and also a play if you wish to play them automatically. It shows the, the title of this image and here we have a counter of all the images that you have in this gallery. Okay. So this is the navigation of the images. Okay, you can use the previous also next or jump between the images. Play to play them automatically with with some delay that you may edit also. Okay. Uh, so let's see all of these properties. So let's open the properties tab. Okay. So you have the width and height of the gallery course the spaces on the top left right and button and mainly so you can change the background of the gallery itself uh, what do you want to call the next button uh, what do you want to call the pause button the play so for example maybe I would change the play to go or something like this if you wish so to change the text shown in the page the delay so if you play the images automatically so what is the delay between these images do you want to show the navigation button? Um, how many thumbs you want to display within the uh, one uh, one show, one page between the two navigations? So, for example, if before we had eight, now we can change it to four. And yes, you can hide and show play next and previous button from this list. Okay, so we did one thing single or maybe two. Let me check it. How does it look like now? So I only change yeah the number of thumbs make them four and I replace the play with go and keeping the other as they are okay uh, now more, uh, more format or more styles you can find under the style tab and you can use the styles preset or you can get something from the cloud so these are different way to display the images for example an image with an author tag and maybe a description um, yeah uh, let's see so this one it has less description as you can see at the bottom uh, this is no counter it won't show the counter on the pages this one no play no pose 
okay this one is no what okay no text so let's see now no text what does it do okay for example if we change this preset style so as you can see it hide the title of the image so it shows no text on this image and if you look to the counter now